Hello guys, uh, today I want to introduce you our new technology that we have just added into our M platform in the format SDK, uh, which is the WebRTC. So some words about the technology itself. Uh, the WebRTC was created by Google guys and it allows you to stream the video and audio data from one web page to another directly. Uh, it means that uh, it's a peer-to-peer -peer connection and there is no need to use any streaming servers between them like Flash Media Server or Wavza Media Server or whatever. And this signaling server is used to uh, transmit some service information. You just allow this one and this one to connect between each other. So it does not transmit video and audio data. Uh, what have we added over here? Uh, we have added a new WebRTC object that allows you to transmit your stream from the application to the web page and also send messages over there. Uh, what's so cool about that is that you can use uh, the web page for the remote preview and control of your application. So if you do have a streaming server or playout server or whatever, uh, from now on you can control it remotely from anywhere uh, using the internet. And that's really cool because you don't need to use any streaming server for, to implement that. Uh, well, enough for that blah blah blah. Let's go for the testing part. Uh, well, here is my latest platform SDK release. Um, I will go to samples basic C sharp. Uh, sorry guys for the other languages. We don't, we have only a C sharp uh, samples right now, but we do will add some samples for other languages too. Um, go to the WebRTC folder and here is my sample streaming right in app to app and here are my web pages for the writing control and streaming control. Let's start from the streaming to browser application. Let's just run it. Uh, basically, it looks just like a common playlist application with only difference uh, that it also contains the WebRTC object in it and this object is added as a plugin to the uh, my playlist object. Uh, well, let's drop some files into the playlist, start the playback, here it goes. Uh, right now the WebRTC object uh, is ready to start the transmission and it is al already, already connected to the uh, signal and server, this one, and um, have this ID, local client 5373. Um, okay. So uh, my sample application is ready. Now let's go for the web page. Uh, here are my web pages in a WebRTC HTML folders. This one is for the playlist and this one is for the writer. Um, to try it, you uh, obviously will need uh, some web server running on your local machine or anywhere else. Uh, it can be Apache or um, Ease or whatever. Well, I do have mine right over here. It's uh, test1.true, www. Uh, here I've created two folders. Uh, over here I've dropped the playlist web page and over here is my writer web page and my server is running i can access it from my browser this is my playlist and writer folders so right now i do need a playlist html well index html is running automatically so here is my um, streaming to browser test page but it's not connected right now to the application uh, i can just uh, copy this local client 5373 over here um, and start the connection but it's much easier it will be much easier to start it right here um, it is not started because the web server link is in connect I'll copy and paste it over here 
that's it and open the page again uh, good. that's it uh, so that's it here is my application I do can preview it over here from my web page and also I can transmit messages from my web page to the application for example sample message 111 let's send it here it is it was received um, except of sending messages I can also transmit uh, any other information like I can parse this message and if there are any comments I can execute them to control this application so this I uh, can use these controls to pause the application you see that it received common pause and was paused I can continue the playback and start it from the very beginning and stop it can resume it and do anything that I can do in a local application remotely that's it that's really cool feature so from now on you can control your applications remotely well uh, this is the playlist application and I also have the writer application over here I'll just demonstrate it to you really quickly here it goes here is my remote writing control application let's pick some live source device initialize it here it goes now you can see me um, the application is running I do have WebRTC object in to edit as a plugin into the writer object um, and I can now go to my uh, writer web page oh I forgot I need to click this link and to pass my server name over here here it goes it checks the local client ID and use it to connect to this application and from this point you can perform anything that you can do locally from your with your application and you can send messages you can uh, uninitialize the device uh, you can pick any other device you can initialize it back you can change the capture format like audio and video you can start the capturing stop the capturing and do whatever you want just like with a local application but from any point of the world using the internet so uh, that's it guys I hope you will enjoy this feature I hope you will like it uh, let me know your thoughts about it what should, what do you think what do you think we should change what do you think we should update um, waiting for your response okay guys have a nice day